So you might be in this really weird situation where for some reason your Android screen is either stuck on a white screen or a black screen, and you might be trying to figure out how you can go and fix this. Now, the first thing to keep in mind is that if you're going through and if you have a screen like this on your Android phone, you want to go and find the way you can go through to basically power off your power off your phone. So what this basically entails is finding the power button on your you know, Android phone, so you can find the power button somewhere, and either the volume up or the volume down button, and you want to hold those buttons down. Now, you probably won't get into a pop-up like this, but what you want to do is you want to continue holding those buttons down until your phone completely restarts. Sometimes your phone will just do that. As you can see, it'll completely restart for me. I'm holding the power button and the volume up button, but for your phone, it might be different. And you want to keep holding it down. Now, if your phone shuts off, you want to go and let go of the buttons and then hold down the power button on the side. Now, when you do that, you might see that Google logo pop up or your Samsung logo, whatever phone you have. And then what you want to do is let go of the power button and let your phone completely come back to normal from there. There's a big chance where your phone will probably just recover. Most of the time, it's just a random glitch that might happen. So that's kind of one of the first things I'd recommend doing here. Now, if that works, then you're basically good. What I'd recommend doing there, though, is updating your phone. If that is not working, and if, let's say, your phone is still on the white screen, well, what I'd recommend doing there is basically going through and letting your phone die out. You can try going through into Android recovery mode, but if it's still not, if it's not like allowing you to restart it and you're holding down the buttons, you may want to go and try to either let your phone die out and recharge it and hopefully it'll work again, or you can put your phone in Android recovery mode. So putting your phone in Android recovery mode will probably end up allowing you to, you know, wipe it and everything like that. But before you do that, I'd recommend just letting it die out, charge it back up, and seeing if that ends up fixing the problem. So that's kind of the way I typically go and fix it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.